In on trade is this really cool 1985 Ford Mustang GT Fox body. Does come equipped with a uh, factory T tops. It's got the 505 speed, air conditioning, power steering, power disc brakes. Engine seems to run great. It's got a new Napa battery in it. Newer Napa battery, I should say. Previous owner owned this car for the last uh, 25 years. So when we got it, we just put brand new tires on it. The tires don't have 10 miles on them. Car seems to run really good. It's got 87,000 actual miles. I believe most of the paint to be original. I know the hood has been replaced. It did have a carburetor fire on it back in, uh, I think, uh, back in the mid to late 80s. So the hood was replaced and repainted at that time. Other than that, I believe to be uh, that the rest of the paint's original. As far as the paint and stuff like that goes, it's got a really nice straight body on it, but uh, it's got a ton of paint chips and stuff like that, so I'm not going to be able to point everything out on it. The car to be show quality will definitely need to be repainted, but it's a good combination of original paint and uh, older repaint back in the 80s and early 90s. Got a little of the surface rust tint right here in the very corner. Not really bubbles or nothing like that, just little rock chips. Uh, same thing right here, we got just a little bit of rust in that lower fender, right down here at the very bottom. Again, original solid rocker panels, all that kind of stuff, but it does have rock chips due to the original paint to where we have just a little surface rust. Same thing right here, no bubbles or blisters, just a little surface rust where that paint is chipped. Other than that, the rocker, lower quarters all solid, over the wheel well looks really solid and original. Behind the wheel looks nice and solid. Just paint chips, guys. We got some little stars in the paint here. Some little tiny dings, some scratches, just a lot of paint imperfections. As we look at our corner of the door, that all looks good and solid. Inside door panel looks good, except for somebody had cut some Alpine little speakers in the bottom back in the day. Other than that, the door panel is excellent shape. Seats are still in great shape, 87,000 miles. A couple stains and stuff like that in the seats, but no rips or tears. Same thing in the back, they're really nice. Back seat's in great shape. Seat belts for two in the back. Headliner's all there, dome light works. Headliner's got a few little sags, a few little wrinkles in it, but it's all intact. T-tops look to be in really good shape on it. Carpet's original, still very presentable. Back door panels are original. We have the pieces to glue back around this uh, dash piece right here if a guy wants to glue it, otherwise a guy can replace that. This uh, still works here. The informational center still works. Clock works. It's got the five-speed manual. Horn works. It's got cruise control. All of our gauges work. Carries great oil pressure. Gas gauge works. 87,291 miles. Tack works. Temp gauge and amp gauge all work. So. Everything works on it. Heater fan works good. Rear defrost works. Um, the uh, rear deck thing works there as well. E brake works. Dome light works. So what we got is a, a real good original 87,000 mile 85 
GT 505 speed T top, original black car to my knowledge. Um, gas door. That's what it was inside the glove box. I'm sorry, it wasn't through her hatch, it was the gas door, and that works great. Um, the rear hatch, guys, you're gonna have it's gonna rattle just a little bit for some reason. It needs to be adjusted right here. As long as we got it open, somebody had cut some speaker holes right here. Uh, other than that, the rear carpet and stuff like that's all in good shape. But I gotta readjust this latch. It's not latching properly, so it needs to be readjusted. And I got new uh, shock cylinders, we put those in there, so. Dual exhaust sounds great. Really nice exhaust. As we look up and down the passenger side again, nice straight car, a couple little door dings in it, scratches, stuff like that. Behind the rear quarters, really nice and solid. We got some clear coat peeling or some paint peeling right here, I should say. Just a little bit, of, well, actually it's just a little film on it. It's got surface rust right here, guys, where the paint is chipped. So it does have just a little bit of rust right here. In front of the uh, rear wheel is excellent. Rocker panel all looks good. Front corner of the door has a little surface rust down here as well. Lower fender looks really solid down here. Feels good and original as well. So. You know, your flat black paint, that kind of stuff here on the trim is where the gray or whatever is starting to fade. This car runs good, drives good, very solid underneath. Just needs a new paint job to be a nice car. The wipers work and the washers work, guys. The washer squirters still work. Heater blows out, nice warm heat. Tack works. When I get back to the shop, we're going to, uh, I'm gonna adjust that uh, striker in the back hatch, so that will work as well. Does have tilt wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the heater down. And as we're driving down the road, we're gonna hear that little vibration from that back hatch not being properly locked, unfortunately. Car runs really nice and strong. Gets up to speed fast. Your second gear, go right up to third. Synchros feel great, clutch feels great. Handles nice too, as far as our steering goes. The power steering is steering itself. Alignment's really nice and tight. Your disc brakes, absolutely no pull left or right. Nice full pedal. So our brakes are good, guys. Running and driving of it's really good. to speed handles the road great fourth gear fifth gear 70 mile an hour 1800 rpms or 70 right down the road does not need an alignment shocks feel really good on it steering is tight handles well I mean this car sat around for 25 years the previous owner um, really didn't do a lot with it uh, for the last 25 years sat in his garage we got it in, tuned it up, put tires on it, put a fresh tank of gas in it, and uh, man, everything works, runs and drives great. Neat car. 